hello guys welcome back to my page um, and my youtube channel we are still today may 28 2014 and i am um debating which topic that i actually want to speak to you of right now because i want to speak to you about being a visionary just as much as i wanted to um talk about um this topic um the book that i'm reading about why i'm reading about hillary clinton and you know just things that i wanted to share with you but before that i think the topic about being a visionary is very important so we're just gonna go with that and um i'm moving the camera a little bit I, last night I barely had any sleep I don't know what happened I think I was reading and I went from reading to watching um, you know YouTube and it, it, I, I stumbled upon um, the Breakfast Club interview of um, Kanye West and um, I really paid a lot of attention between you know what he had to say um, the way he shared what he had to say and the way Charlemagne kind of like, um, you know, were, was, I, I, I understood where they, <laughs> I understood where they were both coming from and um, I really understood where Kanye was coming from and I understood definitely where um, Charlemagne was coming from. And that got me to think about um, myself, that got me to think about um, a new friend that I have who seems to understand me but not really seeing where i'm heading and that got me to think about you know um my mom so i think this topic is important because probably a lot of you who are watching this video are going to fit in, in different categories in life there are different people in life you know we are different we are rooted differently we we are just individually even if you are a twin you are a different person than the next one you know you are never going to be the same there are people who are visionaries and i really believe that i fit in that category i really strongly believe that i fit in the visionary you know folks and visionary folks you know we tend to have um we see further you know, so you don't really live or you don't do things in the present moment. You, you do things in the future. It's like you foresee how things are going to be down the line. So your, your actions are according to what you're seeing. And as a visionary, you know, you have the vision. It's almost kind of like when you are, you know, you know people who direct movies or people who direct anything in life. As a director, as a visionary, you have what, you know, you already picture what you're looking for. You know how it's going to be. You can visual, visualize it, you know, it's in your mind. But not everybody is a visionary and there are people who work and who live in the present moment. So they have to see things happening. They have to actually, you know, they have to see the concrete result at, as they are working and as they are, you know, progressing in life. Otherwise, it's just, it doesn't cut it for them. And people like that oftentimes, you know, they live for the present moment they don't live for the they just live right there you know i have a job i understand my job i'm working toward my job i i am right now in a job i understand that if i do this down the line i can get a promotion but there are other people who take different routes and that's how some people they don't understand well i've been doing this step i've been doing this step and so and so did not do any of the steps and so and so got the job or got the promotion or got the uh, fame or whatever it is that i feel like i deserve well it depends because people who are visionary leave we live in the present but we foresee things in the future you know so as i was paying attention to the interview i just saw how Charlemagne he just like he he did not understand what kanye was going for you know he he kanye was talking about years <laughs> you know how kanye is he was just like kanye is really like out there you know his mind is just out there kanye reminds me a little bit of Nas and I'm such a diehard card of Nas. I love Nas and I haven't heard from him for a while. So Kanye in a way reminds me of Nas but you know um, 
you know, as you are a visionary, you also have to understand that you need to pay attention to the present. You need to take, you, because if you don't do that, what's going to happen is that you're going to be labeled a certain way. You know, you're going to be labeled like you're crazy or you're going to be labeled like, you know, you are in the moon or you are a lunatic eh, or nothing seems to work for you. You know, you know, you, you have to understand the environment where you work. You have to understand the people and the culture, the way things are moving, you know. So in a way, it's good to be, um, to, to be living in the present and being in a visionary. You understand what I mean? Um, I hope, you know, I, I'm, I'm, as I'm speaking to you, I'm going through it because I really want to deliver this message. Um, because some of us, I don't want you to be a person who is a visionary and you're stuck. And there are visionaries who never accomplish anything in life. So you have to be careful not to fall in that category. There are a lot of people with great ideas, a lot of people who are really, you know, have amazing ideas, but they can never deliver those ideas. And if you are someone like that, I strongly believe that you pick this book. It's going to help you to try to see the different strategies or different books really like I'm not only reading these books I also have online books so these so, you know you have to take into consideration what previous people you know who've done it in the world have done my younger sister introduced me to um, a YouTube channel which is you are creator I'm also encouraging those of you who are watching my videos to just go ahead and um, type it you are creators and then you know you can learn from them so you have to understand when you are a visionary that you also cannot just dream. You have to make your dreams a reality. So then comes the strategies. Because at the end of the day, really, life is all just revolving. You're never really doing something new. You know, the same thing that you're thinking, the next person is thinking the same thing. But what's going to make it different and what's going to make you and that person different is the strategies that you are going to apply to, to get your message across or to make sure that what you're doing is being fruitful to make sure that you, what you are doing is actually getting done. It's sunny as hell and it's raining. <laughs> That's why I'm so sorry. It's raining and it's sunny. So, excuse me. So yeah, I really wanted to talk about that because, you know, as I was watching that interview, you know, I kept shaking on my head because I really could understand where they were both coming from, which brought me back to my friend and I. My friend and I, we talk constantly. We, we talk like all the time but um every time like he is so afraid of the things that i'm telling him sometimes you know we sit down and we're having dinner and i'm sharing like amazing things to him and at the end of the conversation he'll look at me deeply in my eyes and he'll say to me well how are you going to do this where where's the money like what money are you going to do like where are you gonna do it? And I always and 